Welcome back everyone. This is Daniel Davidson for Daniel Davidson Productions here with another Audacity voice effect tutorial. In this video we are going to be doing an AI artificial intelligence or construct voice. In this case it is a Halo AI but those are not exclusive to the 343 or Microsoft game franchise. So let's get straight into this. We have some dialogue in front of me on this um, on my desktop here in Audacity that I've already opened up. And real quick, on the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, you will see a URL pop up, a little title sequence there. So that is the direct link to the web page to download Audacity. It is a freeware, open source, but due to the fact, due to the nature of open source free programs, you have to be extremely careful where you download those from. Downloading them from a third-party website, very likely you'll get malware instead, so being very cautious on the internet. So that web um, ad address is there, bottom left, should have popped up, and then I will have that link in the video description, so you can easily go down there, click on that, and open it up into another tab. So getting straight into this, special thanks to Vitti St. Martin, who is the voice actors for these lines, also known as Discord, as Vitti Rain. All right, last time I checked, that was what her uh, Discord username was. So getting straight into this, we have this one piece of dialogue, and I'm going to select just a portion of it because of how much this is. These are actually all lines from episode one of an upcoming Polycore Media Halo Machinima. Let you listen to this. This is just the raw, unedited file. Mr. Vasquez, Spartan 189 has entered the facility, making everyone accounted for. Okay. And so there's no effects to that. That's exactly the raw file. The way she sent me that WAV file right there, that's, that's exactly it. I've not tweaked it at all. So first off, we're going to make two of these. So we're going to have to duplicate one of these. You can either go up to Edit um, and hit Duplicate, which of course you'll need to select what audio you want duplicated, or the shortcut. Now I'm on a PC. Uh, for Mac users, of course, the Control button is replaced with the Command key. So for me to duplicate this track using shortcuts, it's going to be Control D, and as I said, for Mac users, Command D. Um, as you can see, we've got two different tracks here. And of course, when you've got them both selected, anything you do to one, it's going to automatically apply it to the other one. So you're gonna to have to deselect like what I just did here. And then we are going to need to zoom in on this right here. Whoops, zoom in, not zoom out. I say one thing and my brain thinks another. All right, so we've got it zoomed in, and then we're going to need to toggle over to a different key. Shortcut is F5 for the time shift tool, and we're just going to nudge the bottom track ever so slightly to the right, and we're just offsetting them. Now let's get out of that zoom out here. And then I'm going to switch back F1 to the selection tool, which is this one right here. It looks like just your average cursor when you're working with a Microsoft Word document. And so I select this using the select tool and then I drag it down so it selects both of those. And this, doing this effect right here just seems like it's simply an echo and that's it. But the result is very interesting. So take a listen. Mr. Vasquez. Spartan 189 has entered the facility, making everyone accounted for. Okay, so that is after we offset one of the tracks, so it's not, they're stacked, but they're staggered. And you get, you don't get just an echo, it's a very nice electronic reverberation to it. Now you can go in there and try to nefangle with the effect settings and the effect options right here. We do have a reverb option down here, but that's not necessarily going to give you the same effect here. Plus, I'm a very manual, hands-on person. So this is the way I like to edit this. Now, in this case, what I've just done here, that's it. You want a simple AI voice? It's that simple. So you're done right here. Now, if you want to do any additions to it, you can use the Spartan voice effect, which you do two run-throughs of high-pass filter equalization on the Spartan setting and then the compressor. And then, of course, the high-pass filter and compressor are left on the default parameters. Whatever those values are set to, you just leave them 
as they are and you just keep clicking through. Um, you can do two of those and that's as if it's being projected through some sort of essentially a projection speaker or if this is a transmission that's over the radio you can use that to simulate and add just an extra oomph or tone to that audio so it sounds more realistic. So that's done here. Um, I will also have a link in the description below to the other tutorial I've done that's on the Spartan and radio voice effect. If you like this video, please give it a like. Um, support the channel as much as you can if you feel like it's worth it. Uh, hit the subscribe button and activate notifications down there. And just, just to point out to you guys, based on my statistics, 92% of you guys watching this right now have not subscribed. Let's see if we can improve that and help YouTube with the statistics and analytics and help my channel grow, both for you and for me. Uh, so let's get into that. And I do believe that is it. So I've got those links down in the description. Um, and then hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Um, this is Daniel Davidson, or Daniel Davidson Productions.